Oh dear lord, this is a little bit overexposed. Let's see, does that help? Yeah, it gets it a little more. Now there's a blue sky in the frame. Whew. All right, this is David, the Georgia photographer. And today I wanna to do a video about how you can get a little bit closer focus out of your zoom lens. And today I wanna to talk about a thing that came up in a video I watched from a fellow YouTuber. It was Phil Thatch, his videos right here that, I was, that I'm referring to, in that he's got a 500 millimeter F4 prime lens that he shoots bird photography with. And he set it up on his porch and he was to get the minimum focus distance on his lens to where he could get photos of these songbirds in his yard, he had to back all the way up against the handrail. I got to thinking, I've been experimenting with lenses here as of late, matter of fact, this lens is the one I'm talking about. I've been experimenting with stuff like this and I've learned a lot about how lenses work because of this little lens. I'm gonna share with you a trick that I think I have figured out and I'm hoping that it works. I'm about to do an experiment. I've brought a tape measure, I've brought my two to 500 F5.6, my Z6, and the F to Z, yada, 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 and an extra little piece of equipment. And we're gonna see if my thinking works out that you can modify the system to get closer focus with prime lenses. Let's do this. What I've done here is I've put together the Z6 with the F to Z adapter with the 200 to 500. I've got it on a tripod. That way I can get everything all happy and copacetic. Uh, I think I'll turn off lens VR because it's on a tripod. But my plan is to do my testing with this camera lens combination. I've come down here to Trenton, just somewhere different. I'm down here at the railroad yard, whatever you want to call this. It's just a lay down yard beside the tracks where they kind of store stuff that they're doing when they're repairing it. So I'm going to set my camera up right over there and I'm going to focus on the end of that rail and that'll give me a, what I'm gonna probably do is mark the rail and give me a minimum focus, move the camera till I'm at minimum focus to that point. And then I can measure it with my tape measure I brought. And then I'm gonna modify the system and see if it'll focus closer. Cause I'm thinking it will. So let's try this. I have to admit, this camera system is fairly heavy. Oh, look, it's already marked. This rail has writing on it, so that works out. Okay. Here's the magical thing. It's literally extension tubes. These extension tubes have electrical contacts in them. So it's gonna allow me to use the focus system in the camera, even with an extension tube installed. My idea, let's see here, there we go. Let's go to minimum. I've manually focused it at minimum, and man, I'm right at the end of the rail. So let's move forward a little bit. There we go. All right, <clears throat> lock down the tripod. I am currently focused at, from the end of the lens, let me just look at the picture again and see what was in focus. <laughs> Looks like it's the, the apostrophe right past the nine, yeah. All right, so, Currently, we are focused at this point. It's supposed to be from the film plane, I think. I don't see the little marker. Oh, here it is, right there, yep. I see, thought all cameras had that little thingy on it, but it does. 88 and three quarters, okay, from the film plane. All right, now that we know that, let's modify the system and see if it'll focus closer. All right, my plan is, is to just take the 12 millimeter. These are the cheap ones. I don't even know what brand these are. They've got an X with some kind of weird hash marks. XIT is what its logo looks like. But this is the thinnest one. It's the 12 millimeter extension. So what my plan is, is to add this in between the lens and the adapter ring. Bug just flew in my ear. <laughs> that gummit. Really? It's always one of them silly little bugs. There we go.
one eternity later. Looking at the photo, it's right there. Yeah, there's a spot. Okay. With the 12 millimeter extension tube on it, it's focusing at about 71 and a half inches, 71, three quarters maybe. It moved it into 71 and three quarters. And I'm gonna reshoot the, cancel. I'm gonna reshoot the photo without it because it looked like when I hit the autofocus button, it moved out a little bit for some reason. Now, I am operating at the minimum focus distance that the lens will mechanically drive through. So it reduced, it reduced the minimum focus distance by about 16 inches by adding that 12 millimeter extension tube. That also makes that lens technically a 512 millimeter lens because you're adding 12 millimeters of lens distance to the system. So by simply adding, and this is a, this is a, like I said, it's some kind of cheap one, but it does have the electrical pass-through contacts in it to allow the lens electronics. So it allows autofocus. That was, that's the beauty of running this system. These extension tubes run about $50 for a set of three, but it did what I thought it would do, which was allow you to focus closer. So if you're doing photography and you're not worried about distance, you know, focusing out at distance, you're worried about focusing close to minimum focus or somewhere in that range, you can add this 12 millimeter extension ring and shorten that minimum focus. With this lens, it shortened it about 16 inches. You know, getting a, that's a foot and a half closer nearly. So it would allow you to pull that minimum range in. And if you added another one, if you added the next one up, which I think's 18 millimeter, it'll, it should focus even closer. Because, you know, that's what extension tubes are doing is they're moving the lens further from the camera, which allows that minimum focus distance to pull back. In my last section where I was at the railroad bed, uh, it started to sprinkle rain, so I packed it all in the truck. And I rode around and I found this old garage gas station, what you want to call it, on the other side of town. And it's got the awning. It's closed down, though, so there's nobody here but me. And I'm able to set my camera up in the dry. But what I wanted to test, something else that was going to inevitably come up in the comments, and that was, well, what is the furthest it'll focus if you add that 12 millimeter extension ring? So I've got it put together here, and I've tested it. And in 200 millimeter, it won't focus near as far as it will in 500 for some reason. I'm not real sure what the deal is with that. I think it might have to do with the focus mechanism inside the actual lens since it's internal focus and when it's racked out it can apparently move further i don't know but it, it's able to focus focus further when it's racked out to 500 millimeters significantly further like i'll show you all right here's the camera one two three five paces is 200 millimeter minimum focus no no maximum focus my bad maximum focus with the 12 millimeter extension tube and I'm currently focused all the way over here. Wait till this car goes by. All right. This is where it's focused right now at 500 millimeters. So it's a good 30, 40 yards. So if you was photographing birds in flight, this would work. Now I gotta get back across the road without getting killed. All right. There's because of my chance. But I wanted you to see that adding that 12 millimeter extension ring to this particular lens at least, still gives you enough depth of field to where you can actually work birds in flight. You know, not birds in flight, my bad, but um, like songbird photography and things like that, like, like Phil was doing on his back porch. It would allow him to shift that range of focus closer to it. So, I appreciate you watching, but I wanted to do that addendum because looking back, it's like, yeah, that's the first thing they're gonna ask. Well, yeah, you shortened the minimum, but what did you do to infinity focus? Cause it always screws infinity focus up. And it did, it shortened it significantly, of course, but it didn't shorten it to unusable if you're shooting birds in your backyard and you know, maybe birds on a bird feeder and you're working close to minimum focus depth. 
So that's what I wanted to go over with you in this video. I thought, I want to do that experiment and see if it does what I'm thinking it's going to do. And it did. So that's just a little piece of information you can tuck away in your camera bag and throw a set of extension tubes in your bag. There may be a point when you want to focus closer than the minimum the lens will allow to do. And with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I'd love a subscribe if you are interested in doing it. I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. And until next time, get your camera out. Go take a picture with it. All right, we'll see you.